CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your security camera Zinc NVR or DVR to the SCI View app. Now you should already have the SCI View app installed on your phone. If you don't, then you're going to want to search for it in the Apple App Store or if you have an Android in the Google Play Store. And then you're going to need to find the P2P code that you're going to scan into the app to access your system. That P2P code can be found in two places. So as you can see here, I'm on the mouse and monitor interface of my NVR system. And I'm going to show you how to find the P2P code there. The second place where you can find the P2P code is going to be a QR code on the top of your recorder next to the login information label. So there's going to be two labels. There's going to be one with your username and password and another label with a QR code that is your P2P serial number that you need to scan into the app. So first on the mouse and monitor interface, I need to hover my mouse to the bottom left hand side to access the main menu. I'm going to click that menu and then I need to click the setup button. It's going to ask me to log in, so I'm entering the graphical user password. For your password, you will need to refer to the label on the top of your unit where that password is. Now to get to the P2P code, I need to go under the system and then general tab. So I can either click directly on the system button or click on general. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I need to go to the information tab at the bottom. So I could have clicked information from that main screen or from the system page in general tab, I can click on the information tab. The P2P code is here. So I'm going to show how to scan that later in this video. And then your written P2P ID can be found at the bottom of this page. And you will want to make sure that your network state says connected. If it says disconnected, then make sure that your NVR or DVR is connected to the main router or modem within your local network. So again, here is the P2P QR code that you can scan or you can manually type in your P2P ID and then make sure that you have a connected network state. So the other option will be the code on the NVR itself and I'll show you how to do that when I'm scanning the code into my phone. Again, either from this monitor interface or like I just mentioned, the label on the top of your unit. So now I'm going to go over to my phone and open up the SCI View app. So I'm tapping on the app to open it. It's going to take me to these notifications that were shown in the installation video, but if you just installed it, you will get these as well. You can allow it to use your Bluetooth to cast to nearby devices. It's going to access your camera. You need to enable this to allow it to scan the QR code, so tap OK. If you want to add it using your local IP address, you can allow it to scan your local network, and we can tap Allow. And if you want push notifications from the SCI View app, you do need to tap allow to allow notifications. Now it's neatly showing me that I need to tap the add device button. So I'm going to do that now. First tap OK. And then tap the plus icon. And then I'm going to choose the IPC slash NVR slash DVR option. So tapping that now. And now I need to scan that code from my monitor. So I'm just going to bring that code back up. So I'm showing you now. I'm going to pull my phone up right to the QR code from my monitor. You can see it entered in the P2P ID automatically by scanning the QR code. So to show that I can scan it from the top of my NVR, I'm just going to tap the back button, go back to tap the plus icon, tap IPC slash NVR slash DVR again. And then it's bringing up my camera. So I can go over here to the label on the top of my NVR and then scan the code again. So now that I have the code scanned, I either scanned it from my monitor or scanned the label on the top of my NVR, I can enter in the username and password. So here I have the username admin, which is the correct default username. And then I need to type in the default password. If you change your password, you will need to enter the password that you've changed it to. And the default password, again, can be found on a label on the top of your recorder, right next to the QR code that I just scanned. So I'm tapping done after entering that password. And then I can tap save to save this information and save the device entry. So here is a neat little 
tutorial that the app shows you. So you can remove the device, modify the device, make it a sticky device, preview the device, or preview the QR code of the device in case you want to add it to another phone. You could scan the QR code after adding it to your first phone by scanning the code directly from the first phone that you've added it to. So I'm going to tap OK to get rid of this preview. And then I'm going to tap the play icon, which will show me a preview of the cameras. So you're going to see the cameras that were on the mouse and monitor interface. They're now shown in the SCI view app on my phone. So if I were to go away from this location and I wanted to remotely view my cameras, I could see these camera feeds directly on my phone. Continue watching our other videos for some more tips on live viewing and playing back your cameras from the SEI View app. Hopefully this video at least gets you connected to your system on your phone. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.